Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Over the past few hours I've been doing some more testing with the new 200% render scale in PC mode. Quite a few of you have been asking me about the settings and the menus. I thought I'd show you specifically how the menus look with this new setting, how saturated they look, both in 2D and in VR. I'll also show you a bit of new footage I've been recording this afternoon. Here you can see the graphics for the PC settings. What I'm doing here is I'm bumping up the render scale to 200 and just scrolling through to show you all the different settings are set to the highest they can be. I don't know why this is, but this is what I've done and it seems to be working. So just put everything to the max in the PC settings and click apply and save. Notice how it gives you a dark black flash for about a second and that's how you know that it's applied the setting. Here you can see the main menu. Notice how saturated it is. Remember, the reason why we're getting such high resolution is because everything's bumped to the max on PC mode, and we are in PC mode right now. So if I go in, I'll just show you some of the menus. I'm just going to go and have a look at the longitude now. First of all, notice the light and the detail on the cockpit glass windows you see there. The light is so strong. Everything's so much more vivid and rich in colour and tone. I am lucky enough to have my PC running these settings no problem at all. Everything on Ultra in PC can cause a lot of problems, but my CPU and GPU are handling it quite nicely. The reason I'm doing it is to get that special effect in VR. Now if we go into the main menu and look at some of the bush trips, for example, if I click on the Bordeaux to Mont Blanc example, you can see look how clear those images are. This is quite normal for Ultra settings for PC mode. So what we're seeing is no surprise yet. But the real surprise comes is when I hit the VR mode and you'll see the clarity doesn't change. Now I've not edited this, I'm just letting this run. And you can see, I'm not going to zoom in because I want to show you how it really reacts and looks in VR. You can see that that clarity is still there, the rich colours in the menus. There's no washed out imagery, there's nothing like that, it's all there, just like it was a minute ago in flat screen mode. Now we just come back into the main menu and we look at the landing challenges, for example. Again, look at how the colours are so vivid. That's the way, I know I keep saying it, but it's really the main thing I've noticed is the light and the colours and the detail. It looks like 2D mode. I know I'm not in VR mode, particularly at the moment. I'm not in flight. I know it still looks a bit flat when you're actually wearing the VR headset now, but I've never seen it look so clear and so rich in colour. And it reacts really well. You see, like, I'm moving around the the menus and you can see how it's reacting really really smoothly and instantly there's no delay there's no lag you can see it really clearly when we go into the hangar check out the tbm check out the polished look on that when i was playing vr up until yesterday this was never as clear as it is now again it looks just like the monitor to me now i've gone back into the menu and i'm going to load a bush trip just to show you how the vr loads with this new mode i don't get any kind of slowdown I'm not editing this video right now, I'm just letting it run and load in real time. But again, even the blues on the menu, you can see it's so saturated. I, keep, I feel like I keep repeating myself, but it is true and it's the main difference I'm seeing. As it loads, the VR has got no stutters, nothing like that. I'm not moving my head around much, but you can see that it's loading really well, really fast. Here we are in the cockpit of the Cub. I want to show you some close-ups of the instruments. You can see everything very clearly. You can read everything. You can read all the warning signs. All the tiny little text is readable now. It wasn't readable before, but it is now. Remember, it looks much bigger when you're actually wearing the headset. This is just a 2D translation of what we see in the headset, and it looks distorted and looks small. So please don't judge it just based on what I'm showing in this video. Here we are flying over Patagonia in the TBM. It's from the same flight I showed at the beginning of the video. Motion reprojection is disabled, but notice how smooth and clear everything is. I always judge it with the wing. I always look out of the wing and notice how it passes by everything, the different objects and terrain. So I'm moving my head around. Everything is so clear. You can almost feel it when you watch it, that my head's moving around like this. Notice how the sim responds to my head movements without any kind of latency or delay. It's really good. Look at the terrain, look at the clouds. My settings are all the same from the previous video, so I've not changed anything apart from the render scaling, which I've gone through earlier. This is unbelievable. The detail is just like the monitor, but you get the immersion of the VR. Guys, get a VR headset if you can. It's really worth it. 
Here we are flying over London in a Cessna 172. I thought I'd include London because it's really a challenging city usually in terms of graphics and performance in VR. I've got motion reprojection turned off. You can see some slight stutters, but that's not in the headset. That's the translation again. It is so clear. Look at the Thames. The water on the Thames is reflecting perfectly. The clarity is just like the monitor again. I know I keep repeating myself, guys, but this is the best I can express what it actually feels like to experience this in VR. It's a combination of graphical enhancements, clarity, enhanced saturation, it's also the performance that's better. I'm getting smoother flights, no need for motion reprojection. Things have changed a lot and I need to keep experimenting with this. But what I'm going to do is leave you with some footage over London and I'll just enlarge it so you can see it full screen as well. I know the resolution is not quite as good, but just so you have a mixture of both. I'll continue with some testing and make some more videos so I can just show you some more examples of this amazing <laughs> discovery that we found out over the last 48 hours. As usual, I hope this helped you, and please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. I'm excited to make some more videos soon, and I'll try and get a variety of aircraft and different situations, different landscapes, different locations. I might, rather than just run test flights, I'll actually do some flights for pleasure as well, just to show you this amazing simulator that we've got going now in VR. Please continue to leave your feedback in the comments section below. I'd love to hear how you're doing with your own settings, and any discoveries that you find along the way. Anyway, as always, take care. Stay safe.